Yeah. What do you What do you do when I shut down? Or do you shut down, or do you do something different? Uh, like what I happens think to you? There, there. I don't know if I really shut down emotionally. I'm trying to think like what that experience feels like. I think a lot of the times it is like a real avoidance. I'll I'll start to like kind of move and pace yeah i will not stay in one place mm -hmm. you know that can be another form which i don't know if this is just for men but like men we still have this like energy to do something and so we'll like when someone's pacing or someone's like constantly kind of moving around when someone this is a big cue i think for me when i'm like going around like doing little tasks little meaningless tasks yeah if i go into the kitchen and i start like cleaning or something or i start Your like one putting come stuff out. away yeah you know, park and jump in there and be like, oh, you're under distress. So let's, yeah. let's distract <laughs> you here. Let's go clean. Yeah. So yeah, kind of fidgety movements mm -hmm. uh, that aren't really yeah. achieving anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That are like attempting to control your environment, but like not actually. A hundred percent. That's for me, I think when mm -hmm. I shut down the emotional and physiological response is to try and make fake control. And so cleaning is definitely one of the ways. Yeah. Well, I'll just be like, oh, okay, now I'm going to go clean the kitchen. Or yep. I'm going to start putting stuff away. Yep. Or I'm going to start moving things from here to there. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think for my, for me, my strategy parts come out. Like I'll just strategize things or I'll like research things mm -hmm. or whatever that mm -hmm. is. Like that's my version of that. Yeah. So it doesn't always have to be like just a, a shape that your body is taking it can be an action as well mm -hmm. um, so yeah fidgety movement pay, like we've all paced and i think this is something we used to do more back in the day when we moved around a lot more but when you see someone kind of pacing like that is a physical response of like tension energy needing somewhere to go and i think that's a little bit more masculine energy it's just kind of been like we got to keep the wheels spinning here. So we need to do something. Let's, let's pace, let's walk, let's, mm -hmm. you know, patrol. And another thing that is a real big cue that I've been able to break that I think was a real big tell was like playing with my nails, yeah, biting like your nails biting your nails or, or like, now what I do is I'll like clean my nails, mm -hmm. I'll like fiddle with my I'll nails. Do that sometimes. Yeah. That can be, you know, a real sign that someone's got some nervous energy or for me it's frustrated energy like I used to bite my nails a lot when I was trying to like solve a problem and it was kind of this boredom slash frustration slash confusion and so yeah things like that or like little ticks where people will like pull on an ear or like play with their hair or Sometimes I like fiddle with my nose or my mouth or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, if you nah, watch nah, nah. if you watch old episodes, you'll see me like playing with my face or something like that. Another thing I know that some people do is they'll like chew on their fingers or like put their fingers in their mouth. Yeah. You know, that's a real like I sucked spot. on my thumb for a really long yeah. time. I think you know, that's kind of one of those old responses. I never sucked on my thumb. I sucked on a finger. I would like chew on my I finger. Need something a little bigger. I guess. <laughs> I I remember doing it so much as a kid, I had like a callus on my my finger elbow. What do you call that? Knuckle? <laughs> Your finger elbow. Oh, look at all these elbows. Yeah. What else? Picking. Like when you pick it, this is something I do where I'll kind of, I'll get bored or confused or something. And I'll start like picking at my skin. <laughs> yeah. Um, too. Chewing on your hair. I know that's, that's kind of one thing. I don't, my hair is not long enough to do it, but chewing on your hair can be another nonverbal communication of like stress or frustration or confusion mm -hmm. i mean and even like if you like something or something usually your body will tend to like lean toward it oh yeah like your yes your body will kind of give you away like if you are talking like i think we just read this you know normally if you're talking to somebody and their body is starting to like point away from yours mm -hmm. it's like okay yeah they're ready to go you know yeah. or that they're, they're wanting to open up to to something to bring somebody else in or something yeah. like that that's uh, a great point. Mm -hmm. It's like body positioning and like distance can be a huge, huge nonverbal communication. Like whenever you like for dating and stuff like that, nonverbal communication as far as distance and orientation is a huge thing that like most guys never want to pay attention to, but can really tell a lot about really what's important. going on. Yeah. And I, 
I also, I don't want to frame this conversation in like, yeah, when somebody's body is doing this, like it means this for sure. Like I want to frame this conversation in terms of like, like igniting your curiosity around something like somebody's body language. What if it's just an invitation to ask them about it? Yeah. Say like, oh, I noticed that you're picking your nails or I noticed that, you know, you're not making eye contact with me is there something happening Mm -hmm. is there what you know would you like to tell me more about that i'm really curious yeah because that's the i think that is the what to do about it too because i 100 percent agree when you notice these things it's not so much a like let's judge somebody or let's try and diagnose psychoanalyze them even like it's it's an invitation to ask a question because you'll never actually know what's happening inside it like you can you can make up a great story you you might you probably have great psychoanalyzer parts like me Mm -hmm. but like you truly don't know what's happening inside of them until you ask Mm -hmm. and so like noticing people's body language and and the the way that their body parts like physical body parts but also the parts of them that live in their body are trying to communicate it can actually help people feel really really seen oh yeah and and it's a doorway into intimacy when you ask them about like their body's responses mm-hmm. to things because a lot of times our body responds to things so unconsciously that they might not even know what that mm-hmm. means so it can be a really awesome like inquiry 